Are you tracking your audience growth on social and email? We're going to talk about that in today's episode. Let's say you have 1,039 Instagram followers, you have 738 subscribers on your email list, and maybe you have 2,600 some YouTube subscribers. Congratulations, that is awesome. However, are you tracking how fast th those are growing or maybe shrinking? So in marketing, it is important to care about the efficiency of your marketing funnel. So what's your marketing funnel? Well, think of the shape of a funnel and think of at the top as being like your social media. This is where everybody kind of congregates, learns about your brand awareness. It's really everybody hearing about you and whether they care or not, they've maybe seen your name or have at least been exposed to you in some way, shape or form. Now, just below that, a little smaller in the funnel is the email list. Social, social media and followers could be, you know, a thousand, two thousand, one million, whatever. Um, but when you get down to email lists, it's going to start to shrink because you're going from all those hundreds of thousands social to the maybe five, ten percent of them that actually start to self select and say, hey, I want to hear more from this person. I want to show up an email uh, list for them so that they can reach out to me. And that's where people start to follow the funnel towards your true fans, your super fans, your revenue generating fans, however you want to uh, name them. But then once they're in your email, that gives you the opportunity to go a little farther into the nurture stage that says, hey, we're going to talk to you a little more often. If you like what I am sending you, stay on. Cool. If not, you might see some unsubscribes, but that's okay because that's how the funnel is going to work. People who may have been interested at first may not always be interested in the long run, but the ones that stick around, those are the ones that start to rise to the surface as those true fans that you're looking for. So one thing to remember is that your email subscribers may not all originate from social media. They might be coming from Google search. They might be coming from Bandcamp. They might be coming from Spotify. They might be coming from somewhere else. But it's important to understand that wherever you are in the grand mesh of the internet is that your email list is where people start to self-select as being those true fans. So the point of tracking is really to help you understand how you go from all those people down to those self-selected thousand, two thousand fans that are truly going to buy things from you. Those are the people you care the most about. But it's almost like a uh, kitchen strainer or colander where you're going to let the water f uh, go through, but keep the noodles or spaghetti. You know, spaghetti that you, your work you're cooking. Um, but just remember that everything is going to go in the top, but only certain things are going to come out the bottom. And that means that the things that, that stick around um, have been filtered, they've been uh, selected, and they are the ones that are going to stick with you for the long run. Everyone else will just fall at the bottom and uh, continue on to another artist or find new music elsewhere because yours wasn't exactly what they needed. They may have liked one song at the beginning, wanted to hear from you for a little bit, but then strained themselves out and unsubscribed. So remember that. It's okay. But in the end, the more that stay on your email list is the more true fans you have. These are the people who you can eventually sell to. These are the people who are eventually going to come to your shows. These are the people that are going to support your career and your business. So keep them happy. So thanks for checking out today's video. I appreciate you being here. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.